Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Codis Arcade. I am Nisarga and today I am going to explain about India's number one accounting software Tally ERP9. Most of the commerce students are very well aware of this Tally ERP9 but even non-commerce students can also learn this Tally because it is so simple and easy to understand. Before moving to some of the abbreviations and meaning of tally please subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for future updates or notification so let's begin the full form of tally is transactions allowed in a linear line yard and erp stands for enterprise resource planning it is nothing but it integrates various functions of a business into a single unified system what is Tally ERP9? Tally ERP9 is one of the most popular accounting software used in India. It is complete enterprise software for small, small and medium enterprises. In other words, Tally is an accounting software of keeping the record of all kind of business transactions. And it is developed by the Tally solution and the founder of Tally is Sham Sundar Goyank. Let's see the features of Tally. Tally is simple and flexible. As I said before, Tally is so easy to understand and it gives complete business solution, flexible inventory management, regular upgradation. Tally is nothing but recording day-to-day -day business uh, operation. So it gives regular upgradation, practical knowledge on accounting, advanced level of accounting. In advanced level of accounting, you will be learning about GST and other types of GST uh, such as CGST, STST and IGST and uh, if you learn tally you can pursue career in the field of accountant or account executive and uh, multi-user based computer software. Multi-user can work in one tally software. Let us see the advantages of tally. Tally manages data easily by tally software you do not need other software to manage client data and it is easy to grow business. For a growing business, there is a need for vigorous monitoring that is strong monitoring and bank reconciliation statement, reports and decision, secure data, mobility access, speed up auditing, GST solution and time saving. These are the advantages of Tally. Please make a note of it. And next Tally syllabus, first and foremost, in tally syllabus is creation and selection of a company where you will be creating the company and ledger creation, ordering or posting and starting problems, bank transaction. If you learn first three uh, syllabus that is creation and selection of a company, ledger, ordering, then you can solve other problems very easily. Contra entries, checks, bank to bank transactions, error rectification. In error rectification where uh, I will be analyzing the mistakes in the transactions and depreciation, partnership, credit operation, foreign exchange, inventory management, purchase return, sales return, discount that is both cash and trade, purchase order, sales order, go downs, Multi-price levels, drawings, last year trade account, GST, CGST stands for Central Goods and Services Tax, SGST stands for States Goods and Services Tax, IGST stands for Integrated Goods and Services Tax and multiple GST rates. And next is accounting ochers. In accounting ochers, you will be passing all the transaction in accounting voucher that is payment, receipt, contra, journal voucher, sales voucher, purchase voucher, sales return, purchase return, sales order, purchase order. Before moving to the problems, let me clear with some of the theory part which are related to tally so that uh, you won't find any difficulties while solving the problems. So. First is what is ledger? Ledger is an individual record as well as summary of a transaction pertaining to an account. What is journal voucher? Journal voucher in tally is an important voucher 
which is used to make all kind of adjustment entries create purchases or sales fixed assets purchased entries so in general out share you will be making the adjustment what are fixed assets fixed assets are the assets which are purchased for long term use and are not likely to be converted quickly into cash such as land building machinery and vehicle purchased etc what are current assets current assets are the assets which can reasonably be expected to be sold consumed or exhausted through the normal operations of a business within the current fiscal year or operating cycle or financial year for example cash and cash equivalents accounts receivables prepaid expenses etc in simple words we can say that current assets are the assets which can easily be converted into cash what is balance sheet balance sheet is a statement prepared with a view to measure the financial position of a business on a certain fixed date balance sheet is also described as a statement showing the source and application of the capital in balance sheet you will be seeing whether the company is in the state of profit or loss what are indirect expenses indirect expenses are those expenses that cannot be assigned directly to any activity since these are completely incurred while operating a business for example rent paid office expenses salary paid depreciation while solving the problems most of the uh, transactions will be indirect uh, expenses so please make a note of this indirect expenses are so important what is indirect income all incomes other than direct incomes are called indirect incomes example interest received commission received donation received what is sundry creditor a person who gives goods or services to the business in credit or does not receive the payment immediately from the business and is liable to receive the payment from the business in future is called a sundry creditor for example in limited company has purchased a goods on credit worth rupees 2 lakh sundry creditor is nothing but if the company purchased any goods on a credit basis it is called sundry creditor if we purchase for example if we go to shop and if we purchase anything on a credit basis and later on we make the payment it is called sundry creditor what do you mean by sundry retar a person who receives the goods or services from a business in credit or does not make the payment immediately and is liable to pay the business in the future is called sundry retar for example b limited company sold the goods on credit for worth rupees 30000 sundry retar is nothing but if a person receives the goods and does not make the payment it is called sundry debtor you should be clear with the difference between sundry creditor and sundry debtor what do you mean by depreciation depreciation is nothing but it is the reduction in the value of fixed assets over time due in particular to wear and tear and example depreciation on furniture computer buildings machinery etc depreciation means if you purchase any asset and year by year the value of the asset will be decreasing it is called depreciation so that's all for this video guys in the next video i will be explaining about problems so please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon for future updates or notification thank you